Hello, hello again friends and loyal Wolfpack members, Chaos Wolf here and welcome back to the Elite Dangerous 2.1 beta server. This is version 4, yes I have gone and missed out version 3 completely. I haven't put up a video in a couple of days because my uh, <laughs> hay fever pollen allergies hit me really hard and uh, I was just left drained and feeling like crap so I just didn't feel like recording. But anyway... Uh, feeling a bit better now, so let's carry on. What I had an idea of doing is going and seeing how much we could mod out a vulture, pretty much. Uh, not the vulture itself, per se, but I really wanted to go and see how mu what we can go and do to this advanced plasma accelerator. But then I noticed that uh, Cornelius has gone and put up pretty much the video I was planning to make, about a couple of hours ago, so I'm going to link his video in the video description so you can go and have a look at what he's got and done with this. And I'll go and do this my way, because I haven't watched his video. I don't know what he's got and done, but go and check it out. So, what we're going to go and do is, pretty much, we can have a look, first of all, in the optional tunnels. You can see that I've got two cargo racks. These are only temporary for the moment, because currently on the beta server, doing any sort of modifications to your weapons is done using fish. So you don't need to actually go and pick up the materials you'd normally need for it on the live server anymore. We can just do it with fish just so we can test things out. I've got my normal hull reinforcement packages. I've got my shield generator. I've got my planetary approach suites. And that's pretty much it. Normally here I would have a shield cell bank. And here I would have a frameshift drive interdictor. So, let's go and see what I've got on the hard points. Just an advanced plasma accelerator and a large pulse laser. Okay, so that's pretty much the case. And core internals, we do have the best power plant, so 4A. Which does go and output 15.6 megawatts. Now, going into the engineer's workshop, we can actually go and upgrade the power plant. So let's go and give that a go. Uh, what we can do is we can armor it up. We can overcharge the power plant. We can do low emission power plant. Oh, I'm assuming the low emission. Yeah, it's for heat efficiency. Ooh, that's, that's kind of nice. So any ships that have issues with heat would definitely be uh, using this one. Certainly not the... Certainly not the Vulture, though, because it does reduce your power capacity. Uh, oh, wait a sec. Is that the right one? Yes, I have got it. Like it lowers your power, <laughs> your uh, power capacity, and increases your mass. So we definitely don't want that one. What we want is this one. Now, unfortunately, this is going to increase our heat efficiency, but also up our power capacity. So by anything up to twenty nine percent. So what we're going to go and do is we are going to go and try this one out. Now, hopefully, we're going to try and get this to absolute maximum. Uh, so let's go and see how that goes. I may have to cut a bit of this out. So I've currently got 12 fish, although I can buy more here. So let's give it a go. Come on, this is the... Oh, that is terrible. This is really the bloody aggravating roulette thing. Yes, it's modifying the bit that I don't want it to modify. So, no, try again. So I'm going to keep going until I just get to the top. You know what? I think I'm going to stick with this one. We've managed to get an up percentage of 28. So we're going to get 19.93 megawatts out of the power plant. Up from the original 15.6. Now, admittedly, I had to run the, uh, the engineer roulette about 15 times before I got this. So this is going to be extremely extremely impractical trying to get when the server goes live especially since you're going to need an absolute metric ass ton of materials especially for these grade 5 upgrades now I'm not particularly sure I am on board with this because it really does feel like the odds are somewhat stacked against you like the house always wins so I do feel almost like these engineers are running a bit of a scam but oh well Let's go and apply this one for now. Oh really? Are you sure? Because my, my computer here is telling me that I'm only using 81% of my power. 
which is nice. So that's really good. Like I said, we've gone up from the normal amount of power that we were outputting, and we've gone up hugely. I mean, let's go and have a look. It was 15.6. And uh, let's go to the outfitting department. There we go, 19.93. We're just shy of 20 megawatts now. So that's almost a four and a half, well, 4.4 megawatt increase. So that's not bad at all. So what does this mean we can do? This means we can go and put a lot more stuff onto this vulture. I mean, theoretically, I'm curious to see. Let's go back into the outfitting department. Uh, optional internals, shield generator. Uh, where are the shield generators? Here they are. Here we go. Prismatic shields. Yeah, theoretically, we could have a prismatic shield generator on the ship now. With a plasma accelerator. So, that's insane. So, yeah. I'm not going to do that, though, because uh, I still need this, the power to go and put in a... Uh, where is it? A shield cell bank. I need to go and put that in still because I've still got the cargo racks in there. But what I'm thinking about doing is actually going and out upgrading a bit more in the Vulture and just seeing what we can get out of it. I mean, we've got, we can upgrade the engines. We can upgrade the frame shift drive. Let's try that one. Let's see how far we can actually get this thing to go. So, where is it? S scroll down. Come on. There we go. Increase FSD range. So we can get uh, an optimized mass of anything up to 25. Because currently, we have just shy of 15.6 light years. Sorry, 15.6? Or was that 14.6? Yeah, 14.6 light years even, sorry. So, let's go and see what we can get from this. I mean, we'll get more power draw out of it. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to stick with that one. 25% increase? Yeah, I'm not complaining. And the opt Oh, holy crud, that's gone all the way to max. Okay, yeah, no, apply. I'm not complaining. No builds ever come out the same. Yeah, only because you're probably doing it your eyes closed, matey. But let's see. 18.55 light year jump range. Holy crud. And that's with the tons of fish that I've got on board. I wonder what that's going to end up being after. Uh, engines. I'm curious to see what we can get done with these engines. Uh, drive strengthening. Clean, clean drive cleaning. What's this do? This has the optimal multiplier. It reduces the thermal load. So what does the dirty drive cleaning do? I'm curious. Multiply ups the thermal load. Okay. Increase the power draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just seems like the clean drive cleaning is just so much more efficient. And we have drive strength thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for this one. Clean drive tuning. Let's go and see what we can get out of this. Yeah, I'm happy enough to go for this one. 14% more optimal multiplier. And 39% less thermal load. Yeah, fine. I'll go for that one. No, I meant apply. That one. And now it's time to go and reinforce those shields. So what are we going to get? We're going to get a change to regenerate and a change to broken regenerate. Okay, but everything else is going to be going up. So yeah, that's fine by me. Let's go and optimize this then. Huh, this is kind of interesting. Our broken regenerate has gone all the way down, so it's going to take a while for our shields to come back up from broken, but the actual regenerate itself has gone up. So just regenerating the shields, and that just came from this one here. So, you know what, I think I'm going to keep this one, even though we're only halfway on the power here and the optimal strength. 
Well, not even halfway, only a third there, but I think I'll keep this one. And now I think it's time to go and tinker with the plasma accelerator. What can we go and do with this? What I'm thinking of doing is changing the weapon efficiency so it generates a lot less heat so I can fire it more often. Uh, the damage per second is going to go potentially down. Rate of fire is going to go a little bit down maybe, but it's an advanced plasma accelerator. I really don't mind. Damage is most likely going to go up a little bit. Power draw is going to go down. And distributor draw is going to go down. So yeah, I think this is the best one to go for for this particular weapon. Yes, let's spend one ton of fish. Well, the thermal load's gone down hugely. Damage has apparently gone down, but distributed draw has gone down massively. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to go see, roll on the specials to see if we get one. Oh, we do. What do we get? Dazzle shell? The hell's a dazzle shell? Experimental shells that temporarily reduce the target's sensor acuity upon impact. Um, okay. Alright. Let's give that a go. And pulse laser. Let's go and fiddle with that one a little bit. I think we're going to change this one to an efficient weapon as well. Or do we want to overcharge this one? Uh, let's have a look at the overcharged weapons. Damage per second goes up, damage goes up, distributed draw goes... Uh, it's a pulse laser. I think we can manage having this. So, let's go and try it out. Do we, what do we get for this one? Please don't let it be the healing beam. Or the healing pulse. What do we get? Scramble spectrum, okay. Experimental upgrade that allows hull strikes to potentially trigger random malfunctions on the target. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll give it a go. Um, do do do. You know what? I'm kind of happy having this as is at the moment. So let's go back into the outfitting department, put a few odds and ends back in the ship and see how it goes and uh, performs. Okay, well, first thing I've noticed straight off the bat is that the cruise speed is actually a lot faster. The top cruise speed uh, previously was about 244 meters per second and we're quite comfortably breaking that into the 270s mark. Uh, I don't know what the boost speed is, apparently the previous boost speed was around about 395 meters per second. Let's go and check that out now. Whoa, 425 all but the kicking and screaming there. So, yeah, we seriously have gone and upgraded this ship in the sense of speed and perhaps maneuverability. It does feel a lot more maneuverable than it used to. And that's saying a lot in this ship. It also does seem that we're not turning... We're not... We're turning quicker. But we're not kind of changing direction as quickly as we used to. At least that's how it feels to me. But, you know what? Uh, I don't mind not uh, getting wanted, so I'm actually just going to start firing on these guys here. I just realised my pulse laser was actually fixed. I didn't mean to buy a fix, I actually meant to buy a gibbled. But, oh well, I guess we'll just have to make do. So, let's prepare for war. Oh, and we have a blue pulse laser now. That looks weird. Well, let's see if we can make you go and uh, malfunction a little bit. Target 
Oh, we have blue plasma as well. Oh no! His shields are recharging. Whatever shall we do? I guess we'll just have to go and go hell for leather. That does feel really weird. Warning. Uh -oh. Whoa, and that shield cell really did boost up quite quickly. Let's purge that heat. And get out another shield cell. So yeah, this really does seem to have gone up, up in, up in uh, abilities really. Let's get the hell out of dodge. So yeah, now my shields are down, they're actually taking a longer ass time to go and recharge, even more than they usually should. But then again, that's going to be part and parcel of uh, upgrading them. Now, I did start malfunctioning left, right and centre. Whether that was to do with the police using the malfunction weapons, or whether there's some inherent issue after I have modified the ship, that's another issue. But we got away. Uh, it did take a little bit of finagling and finagling to get the hell out of there, but we managed it. But overall, as we can see, if we go back over to the modules, we've still got power to spare. So, theoretically, th this is really insane what we've actually enabled the ship to be able to do. Because even with just the power plant upgrade, that gives you so much more potential to this ship. Right, so, I did give myself an idea, which was... Imagine what this beast would be like with a prismatic shield. And guess what I've gone and got done? Yes, we have a modified prismatic shield mounted to this beast. And, like I said, it's modified, so it's even stronger. We've got a modified shield cell bank still. So, that's insane. Uh, we've still got the four-ton car four cargo rack for fish, just so we can get modifications done. But, one of the things I have gone and changed is the multi-cannon. Uh, well, I changed out the advanced plasma accelerator for a large multi-cannon. And I've got to say, it is absolutely awesome. I've got to modify this one as well. We've got a gimbal. We've got this one. I swapped out the fixed pulse laser for a gimbal pulse laser because, I, like I said, I completely f didn't realise that I'd bought a fixed one. So we can go and try this one out as well. Now, this one has been modified as well. Uh, I can't remember what... Let's go and find out what modification it has on there at the moment because I can't quite remember at all. So let's go to... where is it? Pulse laser, here we go. It's an overcharged weapon and here we go. I've just found out where it is. It was actually under here, under modifications. Right, that was nice to know. We've actually got emissive munitions on the laser which I find rather strange considering the fact that the laser technically doesn't use any ammo. But yeah, so it's going to significantly amplify its signature. Uh, the the uh, cost of increased heat generation. Eh, well, we'll see how it works. So yeah. But it is basically overclocked, pretty much. It's got more mass, it's got more damage per second, more damage, more, and a higher rate of fire. So I'm really curious to see how well that actually works. So, yeah, let's go and test this little bad boy out. I'm really curious to see how well it works. But, 
it's just absolutely awesome because we've gotten a much faster cruise speed boost speed jump well i've got a slightly better jump range this it's just become a completely different animal really but let's go and see how this does in a spot of combat oh look at this the one wanted target <laughs> and he's in a hole. This is going to be a fair fight, isn't it? But let's go and see how well this works. As you can see with my multi cannon, I have actually gone and upgraded the ammo capacity. So instead of 90 shells in the multi cannon itself, we've gone and gotten 173. This isn't even maxed. It's pretty close to it, but oh well. So let's give this a go. Again, blue laser. And uh, this guy doesn't even stand a chance, does he? Now, do we have anything else we can go and shoot? Because I want to go and blow things up and I want to test this out a bit more, but we need things to actually be able to shoot at. You're not going to be wanted, are you? No, you're not. Let's actually go and shoot you down. Because like I said, this is beta. I don't care about getting wanted. But as you can see, this ship just seems so much more mobile. Yeah, we have an overcharged weapon. We've got a much faster rate of fire. So that is really awesome. And we can just keep firing and keep firing. So, yeah, <laughs> just look at it go. Go back here, you. Under attack. Oh, I'm under attack now. This is what we wanted, because I wanted to see how well these shields hold up. Yeah, you can't, you can't get away from me. Ooh, there we go. So let's get these shields back up. Yeah, these shields are so beefy, I'm having to fire off numerous shield cell banks just to keep them... <laughs> just to keep them up. This is insane. So, let's try this. Yeah, this is totally doable. And let's actually start using the chaff, which I keep forgetting about. Now, just look at that amount of damage. But yeah, no. Oh. Yeah, I think it's about time to bug out now. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the hell out of dodge. Yeah, and this is what I mean. I think they're hitting us with the... The disabling shots. Yeah. Yep, everything's going offline. So I think we need to be careful with that now. Yeah, so I think getting into a firefight with the Popo is probably a really bad idea. Because they seem to be using a lot of the malfunction weapons. Not sure if this is actually going to be hitting everywhere, but it's really dangerous if your shields go down. But anyway, that was kind of fun. The shields held up quite well, especially since we were being assaulted by about four or five enemies at once. So, yeah. I'm actually quite pleased with how well that turned out. So, the Vulture. 
a ship that I thought was somewhat overpowered before engineers is going to be getting decidedly more overpowered after engineers. Now, don't get me wrong, the only reason I say this ship is seriously overpowered is because you only pay 5 million for it. And before you get up at arms and go, only 5 million, yes, the, the other ships that are 5 million are like the Asp Explorer. And can you go into combat with that ship and get the same results as this? No. So, But yeah, it's um, it's an insane combat ship. It's, I do find it's much better for... Uh, for conflict zones and so on more than bounty hunting because you don't need to chase things around as much but as we saw there things don't go and fly away at max no, Mach 10 anymore when uh, their shields go down so it's it makes this ship really kind of very good as well especially since now you can get prismatics on this once 2.1 goes live on the live server that's insane I mean we, uh, we pretty much overcharged or modified everything on this ship and it just made it a completely different beast and that is completely insane but what do you guys think do you think that this ship was overpowered to begin with do you think it's getting even more overpowered or do you think it's perfectly fine and if you think it's perfectly fine you're wrong because I'm right <laughs> no everyone's entitled to their own opinion I just think this ship is just too easy to fly so I do much prefer other ships. But yeah, let me say let me know in the comments what you think of this ship. What do you think of the of its potential for when the engineers go live? As always, let me know down in the comments what you think of the ship, and I will do my best to reply to as many as I can. But yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and the look to how much more overpowered this ship is getting. But anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please do hit those like and subscribe buttons because that really does help my channel out. You have no idea how much it does. And I know that half of you watching this video will not be subscribed. So please, please subscribe. <laughs> and that's as much enough groveling out the way. But anyway, as always, guys, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf. You guys have been epic. I will see you soon. And until then, Commanders, keep flying and stay shining.